you'll be a goner. Yep. I'll pull a Jeffrey Dahmer. I eat boys up, breakfast and lunch. Then when I'm thirsty, I drink their blood. Carnivore animal, I am a cannibal. I eat hey, what's up guys? It's Bitter Beauty, and today I want to talk to you about feeders. Also in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to... A new family member! Yay! No, I didn't have a baby. <laughs> so it's fall, and the weather's getting cooler, and my clothes are getting cuter, yay! But also, the fall always reminds me that I need to order some feeders to last me through the wintertime, because it's harder to get a hold of them in the wintertime. So I ordered 500 superworms, 1,000 mealworms, and I got 100 doobie roaches. Ugh. I'm not sure how I feel about them, but they're supposed to be a replacement for crickets. And you guys know how much I hate crickets, so I'm willing to raise roaches <laughs> rather than get crickets. That's that's saying a lot. That's how much I hate crickets. Okay, so I have a sad story and I have a funny story. Um, I'll start out with the sad story. It's not really like super sad or anything, so don't worry. Uh, you guys know how I used to breed my own mealworms and I had like a couple bins and it was awesome. Well, terrible things happen. Terrible things, terrible things happen, guys. It was hard times. I got mites. Oh, it was so, oh gosh, it was so, I was so upset. So I had to throw all those out, um, I threw them out in the backyard in the forest, and all the birds are getting fat, thanks to me, because they get to eat yummy mealworms, so I guess that kind of, uh, helped a little bit, that I was feeding the birds. Um, I also threw my superworms out because they were also, um, they also got infested. <sighs> it was a hard time. So I had to go to the pet store, like, every couple weeks and buy superworms and mealworms etc and it was really annoying I hate going to the pet store to buy feeders because they give you this little bitty cup and like you open up the lid and you're like it's like a massacre in there right like really you're, you're gonna sell me this cup of massacre for five dollars thanks so here I'm going to give you some tips on how to prevent mites from taking over your colonies you'll need some pantyhose and some scissors and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the pantyhose as you can see and you're going to fit the pantyhose over the lid of your bins because nothing can get through uh, pantyhose, um, gnats or anything. The mites that I had were not gnat related, but there are mites that can be gnat related and they can fly into the bins through the holes in the top. So you just slip the pantyhose over the top like I did and you can tie it or um, tape it either way. And I did, I did both layers, so you can do front and back for extra protection. And then make sure you don't do it too tight so it will still snap on top of the containers. And um, that is a very great way to prevent mites. Another great way to prevent mites in your bins is to use petroleum jelly or Vaseline. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to go completely around the whole container, the edges of the container with it. Uh, you're going to shoot for like an inch thick. So it makes a barrier so nothing, no mites can get in or out. That way if they do get in, they won't be able to get out and infest your other containers. So you want to go completely around the whole container with the Vaseline to make the barrier. It's a great way to prevent mites. The funny story now is that <laughs> I'm pretty sure the mailman hates me, um, if he didn't before. Because uh, <laughs> the boxes kept, they're like live feeders. And the superworm guy that I bought my superworms from, he actually uh, cut out the sides and put mesh so you could like see him like running around. <laughs> he didn't even, the mailman didn't even ring the doorbell for that one. He just left them on the thing and like ran, I guess. <laughs> I was like, thanks. <laughs> He's probably like, this weird girl always buying live feeders. Who needs insects? Who gets those in the mail? I don't get paid enough. God. <laughs> but whatever. I don't care. I don't care what he thinks. Because my baby's got to eat. My baby's got to eat, guys. So the superworms have been outside. And it was kind of warm that day. It was like 75-ish, you know. And uh, I could hear them when I picked up the box. They were all like, <laughs> like, moving around. I was like, I was like that's cool. 
And so I went to I went to cut open the box, <laughs> and I had like a panic attack. You guys, like it was it was like crazy. Like I went and got my camera to show you guys. They kept coming out of the box. They were like. And on the outside, I was like, no big deal. Poker face. Poker face. <laughs> but on the inside, I was like, panic attack. I was like, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I can deal with super worms. I mean, it was just a lot of them at one time, okay? And it, it kind of kind of got to me, but whatever. <laughs> and as I promised, at the end of the video, I would show you my new family member. It's not, it's not a reptile. He's furry. And the drum roll, please. Here you go. Ah! <laughs> what is it? This is Dexter, guys. This is Dexter. He's my new chihuahua. He's my chihuahua. <gasps> Say hi. Say hi, Dexter. You guys, he's sleepy. Say, I'm sleepy. Leave me alone. I don't want to say hi to everybody. I don't want to say hi. He's my new little buddy. He's my new little buddy. Yeah. <laughs> have a heart, have a heart, have a heart. 16, 6, 6, 6, and I know the part. You are the river flow, and we can never know. We're just the weather man. You make the wind blow. Keep thinking about every straight face, yes. Wonder what your boyfriend thinks about your braces. What about? I'm gonna see if you guys can see this again. Okay. This is Dexter on my bed. Dexter's on my bed back there sleeping. I told you he was sleepy. He was like, Mommy, I'm sleepy. Leave me alone. So sleepy. I got Dexter in my hand. I got Dexter in my hand. <laughs>